This week marks two years since Governor Roy Cooper put in place his COVID-19 state of emergency. As COVID numbers continue to go down, some GOP lawmakers across the state and here in the east are asking him to end his executive order. Now on your side, Aaron Jenkins talked with an Eastern North Carolina representative. So Aaron, who did you talk to today? Courtney, I talked to Representative Chris Humphrey. He represents Lenore and Pitt counties. He signed a letter to Governor Cooper asking him to end the executive order because he says it's it's time to try and get back to normal. We were told to follow the science in the beginning. Now the science is showing it's time to it's time to open things back up. Chris Humphrey is one of 70 state house representatives who signed a letter asking Governor Cooper to end executive order number 116. A lot of members of the General Assembly just don't believe that an executive order should last infinitely. Um, there, there needs to be an end date. The executive order keeps North Carolina in a state of emergency, which allows the state to ask for federal funding, among other measures to help the state's COVID response. It mandated that certain places had to close, you know, some state institutions that the court system basically shut down. There were mask mandates, uh, restricted gatherings, uh, Schools were closed in many cases and the economy, I mean, people laid out of work because they couldn't go to work and it really put a hurt on small businesses, on families. Governor Roy Cooper says it's still in place partly because it ensures there are enough resources to give out COVID vaccines. I know that parents are frustrated and that uh, a lot of people are ready to live normal lives. One of the things we've got to do is to get more people vaccinated. Humphrey says as while something needed to be done two years ago, now's a good time to end it. Numbers are down. I mean, cases are down. Hospitalizations are down. Fortunately, deaths are down. The spread is, is under control. And uh, we just think it's time to get back to work. And I know Eastern North Carolina, we're ready to get back to normal. According to Ballotpedia, as of today, 28 states have let their COVID emergency orders expire. Humphrey says it'll be up to Governor Cooper to end ours here in North Carolina. In studio, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. Aaron, thanks.